Guys, this is Walker and the all new Suzuki Swift Sport. I'm um, sorry for the background noise because this dealer's right next to a main road, so I do apologize. Anyway, um, towards the front, got your headlights, as you can see. Quite nice. Being the Swift Sport, you get a more aggressive front end, as you can see here. Got this kind of carbon fiber looking plastic here. Very cool. Front splitter. See that? Fog lights. This car has a fuel consumption of 6.1 litres per 100 k's. See there? Urban 7.9, extra urban 5. It's also automatic. The new Swift Sport doesn't have the CBT transmission anymore, so it comes with a six speed auto, which is really great. Anyway, you've got your wheels here, as you can see. Continental tyres, and they are 17 inch rims. Gloss black finish, kind of dirty, so. That's how black they're supposed to look like. Give you a bit of a demo. Wipe my finger here. There you go. So it's a gloss black finish. This nice brushed aluminium. Very nice. Just sensors there, you can see. Indic in the indicators integrated into the side view mirror there. Got your side skirts. Also look there. Looks quite aggressive. Keyless entry. Show you the rear of the Swiss Sport. More aggressive rear end, as you can see. See, you got dual exhausts. Also, you have a backup rear backup camera. The hard seat right there. Suzuki Swiss Sport. Tail lights, got your LED daytime rain lights here, very nice. The braking light, new Swiss support is made in Japan in case you're wondering. It's a boot, interior illumination, very nice. See so that press here, you can show you access to your car jack. And if I lift this up, you got access to your to pump your tire and, and a toolkit because this car does not come with a spare tire or f or even a space over. I'm not too sure if that's an optional extra. Might vary country to country. So yeah. Seats do fall down flat. Oh, almost flat, I'd say. Very easy, I'll show you right now. It's a little toggle here, you press this, comes down, you do the same thing on the other side. Yoink. Handles are kind of hidden over there. Very, kind of similar like what they have in the Alphas. 156, very similar sort of design. Press that, comes down. Close the door there. Oh, look. Thumbs seizing up, anyway. There you go, there's your seats. Bit of a ridge, I'll be honest. So if you're selling a suitcase, it makes it a bit harder, but you can just place on top. Hey look, spider. Man, that's a, looks like a jumping spider. Strange jumping spider, jump. They don't move. Oh, well, it's dead, okay. I didn't expect that. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's a boost. See the axis you have there, yeah. So you can relatively slide items across, but yeah, the ridge manual tailgate obviously got two handles here. Show you the interior of the new Swiss Sport, 
looks pretty much the same, I would say, but um, a little bit different. Slight subtle differences. Turn. Let's jump in. Here's the interior of the new Swiss Sport. Got some redesigned gauges here, as you can see. Looks a bit different. So to the forwards the front, you got your rev count on the left. The temperature gauge for the engine. It's also red, which looks really cool. Got your speedo on the right and your fuel gauge. And you got a little LCD display cluster that shows all your information. But it doesn't tell me how many Ks it's done. Anyway, got a leather wrap string roll. It's also perforated, as you can see. Very nice. It's got some red stitching here. Got the, some nice gloss black trim. It's a flat bond steering wheel, makes it more sporty. Towards the left, you got your volume controls for your radio. Got your hands free telephone, answer, cancel calls, voice command. Got towards the right here, you've got your cruise control settings. Also, being an automatic, you get power shifters, minus, plus, so you can change gears yourself. You've got your wipe controls to the left and your headlight indicator controls to the right. And they have some really nice feedback. Yeah, very nice. Like the buns, they're very satisfying. You can feel that. Very satisfying click. See here, you've got your additional features. That's what that sensor does. So you've got... Yeah, lane departure warning that prevents you from prevents you from going out of your lane so the car will automatically bring itself back in the lane. It's very useful when you're a bit dry, drowsy when you're driving. You also have your anti-collision. So what that sensor does also is let's say something jumps in front like a child or you know you weren't paying attention and there's a car in front, um, the car will sense you're too close and automatically start braking. So very handy feature. Engine start stop. Good. Very nice. Not the chrome here. Got a hard glove box. You can see that? It's not padded. It's all your stickers, just don't need to see that. Also hard plastics, as you can see here. And the door cards are hard. Got a little bit of some soft cloth here. It's quite nice. Um, and you can see you got some red with faded sort of black trim. And you can see there. Very nice. Hard plastics. Map data for your navigation for the Australian one. See there. That the key can't do anything. I have done this review before, but um, what happened was it had to be taken down, which sucks. So I might upload that one again, but there'll be no audio. So yeah, which one I had the key for, so it sucks. Anyway, you got club control. Fan speeds to the left. Heating and cooling to the right. Different modes, you can change it. Different zones. Off. Recycling, AC. Buttons are very nice. You can feel it. Very solid. You got a 12 volt power outlet. You got a USB and AUX port, very useful for your tunes. You got some storage here to put your wallets, keys, and whatnot. You got two square cup holders here. In here, as I mentioned, it is an automatic transmission. Vinyl shift mode. It's not a CVT anymore. On the new one, you get a six speed auto. This is fantastic. So it's really good. So it comes in manual, obviously. Final shift boot with some red stitching, gloss black trim. Um, some more storage here, and you got a rubber handbrake, no armor at center armrest, and you got a single cup holder. Got your seats here, some very good bolstering. Also, you got the sport logo embossed there, very nice. Red stitching here, very supportive. Feel that. It's also a little bit slight perforate on the side there. Bit hard to see. Nice material, very soft. I love it. It's really nice. Very cozy. You can really feel snug. It's not too much. It's just right. So 
it's really good. You got some more of that design on the side here. There's trims. See, so it's black and it fades into red. See that? Pretty cool. Window switches. Very solid. A little bit. Some cloth padding here. Got some plenty of storage here on the side here. You got you can fit a, easily a large bottle there, and some more storage. Some of those bits and pieces there. Very handy. Um, lighting. The microphone for your hands free telephone. You got card holder. You have your vanity mirror. The same one on the passenger side. A card holder and another vanity mirror which is not illuminated, which is you can use to block all kinds of things. Um, you got your mirror. You got excellent rear visibility, very handy. No signs of blind spots, nothing. So, lots of glass, which is very good. And um, great visibility at the front. So um, when you're pulling up the junctions, there's no, you can see everything. These A pillars don't block your vision, which is really good. Sometimes it's a pain. Depends on the driver, I would say. Um, very nice. You got um, metal pedals, very sporty, sport pedals. Yeah, very nice. Um, in my original video, I did do a test of the audio system and the nav, it's great. The audio system is amazing, even the 1 litre booster jet version, the non-sport version, has a great system, so you won't be disappointed, it's very good. Um, yeah, so you've got two tweezers on the doors there, and you've got two bass speakers there. Yeah, very nice, very good sound system. Show you again. For you the rear seats. Go to the rear seats. Jump up there. Here's the rear seats. You can see you got some small storage here for one cup, for one drink bottle, I'd say. Maybe like a small Powerade bottle, I'd say. Hard door cards again, window switches, quite nice. You got a small pocket here. You don't have two cup holes here. You're not going to really be carrying passengers in the rear. This is a more of a sports sort of car. Very comfortable, very nice. Same sort of pattern at the front, you can see the cloth, very soft. Seats do fall down. Um, I'll show you again from the inside. Little handler, you press it, little button, see, just press it like that, it goes all red. And these two seats come down together. I did mention there was a bit of a ridge. Okay, so it doesn't open when I thought it would light up anyway. So, yeah, it's quite nice. You set tethering for your baby booster. Very nice. Same thing on the other side. We'll toggle there, press that, it comes down individually. individually. Show you the dashboard from the rear seat. You got the seats kind of block out a bit of my vision here, but hey, here's the dashboard from the rear seat. It's really nice and terror, I quite like it. Let's jump out, I'll show you the engine, that's what you want there. Everyone loves to see an engine baby. You can see it's a well scared me for a second. Got a pretty small cup holder, hard door cards. Yeah. Now the engine, um, the engine is a 1.5 litre booster jet engine. It's the same engine that they use on the Suzuki Vitara Sport. No, Suzuki Vitara Turbo. Exactly the same engine. They use the same engine on that one. So that is quite powerful, but it'll feel even more powerful in this car because it's a lot smaller. So, which I'm about to show you. Um, power wise, it's about gonna get a bit ugly. Give me a second. There you go. Um, power wise, I think it's about 120 kilowatts. I'll double check that for you. But anyway, here's the engine. 
booster jets. The one liter is already really fast as it is, so imagine driving the 1.5. So yeah, it's a four cylinder engine. The booster, one liter booster jet is a three cylinder. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, so in the comments below. This would run on 98 octane. So. Oh, so you can run on 95. You can put them in 95. 98 would be suggested. Yeah. Okay. Those wheels are a bit more cleaner so I can show you that better. Well, that's my little walk around of the all new Suzuki Susport. I'm um, sorry for the mistakes in the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Yeah, you can better look at the sensor there. Yeah, anyway. Um, sorry for the mistakes during the video, and I know it's been a while since I've put some videos up. Hope you enjoyed this video, and um, feel free to like and subscribe. This car is for sale at Furniture Guy Suzuki. I will leave the details in the description below. Thanks for watching. Cheers.